y'all. This is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler. I want to welcome you all back to the 100 Days of Zentangle Project 2021. We are very close to the end. This is day 98, and I want you all to know how much I appreciate you being here with me for this crazy ride this year. Do not forget that even though we are ending this particular project in a couple of days, we will still be doing videos. There will be a day 101, there will be a day 102, and we're going to find out how many tangles we can fit in this year. All right? So, for today, we have an extra special tangle. This is a brand new tangle by um, CZT Neha Agrawal. She is a CZT in India and uh, actually says she is in this audience for this channel. So that's pretty cool. I got in touch with her on Instagram yesterday about doing this pattern. And uh, yeah, this is only available step out wise on her Instagram or on her Facebook. And her name again is Neha Agrawal, N-E-H-A-A-G-R-A-W-A-L, okay? So this is gorgeous, um, a gorgeous pattern, these little leaf shapes. And what she has cleverly done here, what she has very cleverly done here is, is used a variation of, of the pattern Phycops and turned it into uh, two different leaf pattern or leaf um, entities. Uh, one side like this, one side like this, but it still uses that phycopsian, if I can use that word, that's, there's another one for my lexicon, this phycops-like um, thing, and uh, we're going to dive into it. Now, this has not been published on Tangle Patterns, and uh, it may not be, and uh, there's a very simple reason for that, and that is because it uses a penciled shape as a guide. And uh, I think that's a little short-sighted, but yeah, that's me. I mean, okay. So, um, hi to everyone in chat, to Lisa and Christiane and uh, Lisa and Wren and Nancy and Syria and Colleen, who is the first time here. Thank you for being here. Hi, Allison in New Zealand. And Charo, hola a todos. Uh, welcome and uh, hello to you, Charo. Gael, salut. And uh, Alice and Betsy and Debbie and Marita and Ms. Oscara and Sandra and Angela. We ha and Saud Saudaka, Saudaka and uh, Layla. We had a great Zoom meeting. Uh, too short. I'm going to have to buy into Zoom, I think. And uh, before, and we will be having one directly after the live stream today for about 30 minutes, just a meet and greet and show your art and chit chat and just have a good time. I want to do a special shout out today to Nancy Gregg. We are all thinking about you. Her husband has been quite ill, and we just want you to know that our community loves you, and we are sending hugs, all right? All right, Phyllis and Carla Jo and Margaret all snuck in. Oh, hi, Charity. Okay, now I know who you are. All right, so where's my tile? Here it is. Okay, so uh, this is Nephi. I think that's the way you would say it. Maybe it's Nephi, but I'm not sure. Maybe some of you Indians can help me with that. All right. So I am going to start by drawing my border. I am going for it all today with, with tangling. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to connect my dots and draw in a very simple border. I know y'all are amazed. I'm actually using dots today. I just feel dotty. <laughs> just dotty. All right. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to um, 
Uh, I will, Barbara. Thank you. Um, we are going to set up a, a um, uh, what am I looking for? A half circle or a C shape about halfway on each side. And we're just going to connect that like this, right? Okay. Yeah. The reason I think this will not be accepted on Tangle Patterns, and this is not a diss towards Tangle Patterns. It is not uh, a poke at the pattern at all. It's just, I know Linda and I know her guidelines. And, and so I'm, I'm just making, stating a fact that it probably will not be published because you want to make these penciled in leaf shapes wherever you want these, right? And uh, Neha has a live stream on Instagram that you can watch the replay of where she does this in the round in a radial form and puts a little gem in the middle. And that looked like a really good class. I watched part of it, but didn't have time for it all. So uh, you can, you can um, follow her and, and check out that round version. Okay, now I am ignoring my border here a bit. I'm trying to get as much in as possible. There, okay. So this is basically what I have and I have my tips over the border, but that's gonna be fine, all right? Good deal. All right. Um, hi, Mimi. Mimi's Daily Tangle Tube is here with us today. How are you, Mimi? All right. Nephi or Nephi. Somebody that's smart in India, tell me what's up what. Okay. Now, uh, I encourage you guys to get a scratch page and play a little bit. Uh, on on this first. I had to draw an entire page of these before I finally uh, got the got the idea of this. So uh, let me show you. Well, that's actually a different page, but um, let me show you. There we go. So it took me a whole lot of practice and different uh, trials and tribulations to finally get this the way that it's supposed to be. So really, guys, um, do, do yourself a favor and practice these first, okay? All right. So what you want to start with is in the tip of your leaf shape, you want to put a, a ever so slight S-curve. I mean, really slight right? It's almost not a curve. Well, I'm going to do that same thing and try to um, curve them all in a similar fashion. Now, this is an inverted S curve, and uh, this is important because of the next step, okay? All right. Oh, Lisa says her followers named it Ne for her name and Phi for Phi Cops. Hey, Lisapedia is smart. All right. This is great. I did not know that. And Phi for Phi Cops because apparently she did know how clever she was with the Phi Copsy and stuff. All right. Next step. We are going to put these little uh, leafy spines in here. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect them all to the base, right? So we're gonna start on the pencil line and we're going to mimic this curve, this slight curve here. And then come into the base, all right? And then we're gonna come over here and repeat. Just a slight curve. And then I believe she does this on the bottom, okay? Now, we are going to do our phi cops thing. We're going to make the tip of this 
a, a look like the point of a leaf. And we're gonna do that by starting just beyond the tip of this. So we're gonna do it like this. Just put a curved line up there. And this one too, to the tip. Yeah. And right here. Now this bottom one can be a little awkward, but uh, just go with it, it's gonna be fine. And now we're going to add the Phi-Cops magic. We're going to bring these lines up and around. Maybe not that much, but like this. So what you want is, a, is that pleasing curve, right? And then we're gonna ink in these. And so this looks like it fits down in here. That was a little, a little not perfect, but that's okay. We want that nice curve. And then here. Now, if these aren't perfect, it's gonna be fine once you finish the whole thing. Now, don't be throwing stuff away at this point. We are just getting started, and some of them are going to be different than others, all right? So now, for the other side of this, we are going to put these uh, leaf veins going sideways with a slight curve up. Yeah. And I think I'll do this one. Okay, now the bottom is, is going to, uh, theoretically, going to be a, a inverted C shape, right? This, uh, this does not always work for me. So uh, I have learned to be very um, easygoing about the bottom of these and not, and not uh, be too serious. Okay, so once you have these spines in, we're going to sort of phi-cops these. And we're going to bring from the point down just inside this line. And so from the end of this, just inside the line, just inside the line. Wait, Melinda Barlow did this today? Uh, Carlito says she saw Melinda, Melinda Barlow uploaded this today, whoops. Well, that's not cool. I need to pay more attention to what everybody else is doing, but I usually don't. <laughs> I thought I was pretty safe since it wasn't published, but okay. So again, you're gonna bring this right on over, right on over, like this, yeah, and then ink those in. I absolutely love the way this pattern is constructed. I love Phi-Cops, it's one of my favorite patterns. And so immediately when I started seeing Phi-Copsian sort of uh, things, then that's cool. She did, holy cow. Oh well. Wait, Mimi, you did this pattern today too? Wow. <laughs> I just thought I was being special today, didn't I? Y'all quit telling me stuff they're gonna do the next day too. <laughs> all right, all right, so here again. I'll have to watch everybody else's. We'll see how everybody does. just inside this line. I'm sure Mimi's is excellent. I'm sure Melinda's is excellent as well. I just wish we didn't all decide to do this the same day, but that's okay. I think that's funny though. <laughs> I think that's funny. 
I know Neha is going to be very excited about that. There we go. There's a magic and sacredness in synchronicity, Barbara says. Thank you. Thank you. The Yeah, the step out is, Mimi is saying she had trouble finding the step out. The step out is only on Instagram and on her Facebook page. She doesn't have um, a blog or anything like that that she publishes with. Although at the rate she's going, she might want to get one. Okay, and once again, you start at the point and go down just inside that line. Leave yourself a little bit of space to bring that over and ink it in. It's so weird that we all three ended up with the same pattern the same day. That is just bizarre. Because I promise I did not know anything about anybody else's. Uh, we chose this pattern because yesterday in, in live chat, you guys were telling me about it. So I got on there and found it and loved it. And so I got in touch with her and asked if she minded if I did it. And she said no. <laughs> How would you know I sang opera in Germany? Well, I did in the Staatsopern in Frankfurt. Oh, those were the days. I had such fun. Well, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times kind of a thing. All right, so once again on this side, follow your center curve. Come down to the point. Take your time. Breathe. Okay. Now, speaking about the penciled outline, it is absolutely possible to draw this without it's it's absolutely possible to do this the Zentangle way without the guidelines. But it is also a lot more difficult. Um, so um, just keep that in mind. I am, um, you know, as a CZT, I try not to, um, I try to stay true to my method because it's something that I love and respect. But on the other hand, you know, I, I also don't like to be stuffy. I mean, come on. It's a pencil. And if it works for us. I have also noticed that a whole lot of the Asian CZTs use completely penciled in guidelines for all of their tiles. And, you know, they make it work for them. That's fine. But I feel like by pre-planning, you, you have lost some of the beauty. But I won't lie, sometimes I pre-plan things. So I made a mess there, but I'm just going to go with it. A two-sided Vicops, I love it. Gratefully, the dogs did all their barking during Zoom today. <laughs> they, were, they were a little riled up. Now they're all snoring. Okay, so this is... Nephi or Nef oh for Phi Cops. Nephi. Thank you. See now I know how to say it. Nephi. All right. Um yes, if you're using a larger nib, it's going to be uh it's going to be a much larger thing. Um 
So in my example, uh, where did that go? You know, I can lose things like crazy. All right. So <laughs> in my example, I played around here. This is the Tangle Rixty, which I think we used once this year. And um, I just, uh, this is Jonkle. And uh, I was just playing around with, with the base of this, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So um, let's play with that. But before I do, I want to think about whether or not I can do any additional embellishing in these and if I want to. So um, I did do some experimenting with this. Let me turn the page in my sketch pad. But over here then, I started to play with adding uh, little dots for embellishments. And so, um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so I think, I think I want to, Uh, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to try. Let me try it and you decide whether you like it or not, okay? I'm going to start large. and then just get smaller as I go. And we'll see how that looks. All right. So take your time if you're gonna do this. Make neat, make neat rounded orbs. Like that. I kind of like that. All right. So shout out to somebody new, I think. Uh, Yusaman Tipu. Welcome. I hope you're doing well today. Where are you from? Thank you, that is so nice of you. All right. So while I'm embellishing, let me just mention that next week we will be continuing hopefully with videos, <laughs> but I still intend to do a weekly live stream and uh, every other week I want to continue our Zoom meetings. The timing will be the same and if I do live streams, that time will be the same as what we're doing now. My upload schedule will, be, will also be this time. so that you always know what to expect. I did like uploading in the morning, but I realize uh, that the afternoon is actually when more of you are online. So, and with the live streams at this time, we can catch several parts of the world. Not all of them though. Thinking about doing an 8 a.m. live stream one of these days for all my peeps in Asia and um, Indonesia and Malaysia and all of those places. Okay. So I like that, but I and I don't think I want to add any dots on the other side. I think this is enough embellishing for me for this part. Uh, you guys may feel uh, different. Let's see. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, draw a sort of aura. And if I've got a curve here, I'm gonna follow the curve. If I don't, I'm gonna follow what's there. I'm gonna make it as interesting as it wants to be. And you guys know my auras are usually really, really interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> and that's so interesting. I think I'm going to draw another one. I think I'm going to make this one a little bit wider. Just to make it look a little bit different. Remember, you can use whatever pen and whatever paper that you have available to you. It doesn't have to be this stuff that I use. You can use whatever you have on hand. And if that is just cheap copy paper, then use cheap copy paper, because that's gonna work too. All right. I've seen a lot of great ball pen, ballpoint pen art, so that is awesome. Hi, Pam, how are you today? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach each of these little points, these little dips, with the, with the uh, point down here, okay? So I'm going to, and I don't know about the sides yet, I haven't decided, so I'm going to start like that. I'm shifting my tile so that I can have a nice, um, relaxed hand as I draw. Um, I think I'm going to attach this one like this. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this one. Now, what to do? Bonsoir, je suis Francais. Hello, Kathy. Salut. It's great that it takes 30 minutes to say hi to everybody, Carlito. I think that's great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and continue this line up through my aura. Yes, exactly. Now what to do. So I had some examples over here. This is a safe, easy one to do that you can't get in too much trouble with. Jonkel is easy to put in, but I, I think I'm going to prefer something rounded here instead of uh, the zigzags uh, like it is. Um, on this one, I just used uh, the hatch lines along the side to sort of accentuate the roundness. So let's see what kind of trouble I'm going to get into here. Oh, we have multiple people. 64 in chat. That's crazy. That's crazy. 67 now. That's awesome. Welcome, everybody. All right. So now I think in this middle one, I'm going to do my, my um, rounded... sort of lines that are gonna be arid, and I'm gonna sparkle them. Now, I mentioned not too long ago that I sort of had an epiphany with my sparkling, and I don't know if it will help you or not. But uh, what I stopped doing was picking up my pen, right? What I started doing was just lifting it slightly and moving on. I don't know if that's a psychological difference and I don't know if it will help you, but I have trouble with um, consistency with my sparkles. And so um, I don't know why that thinking about it that way all of a sudden made it easier for me, but it did. So if you wanna put that in your brain and think about it for a minute, I don't know if that makes any sense.
Oh, Diane. Or Diana. Crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy. Crazy for feeling so blue. I can't sing today. You look by. I don't know all my words. You love me as long as you want me. It's a good song. One of the best. I'm crazy for being so blue. Love that song. If I can get my voice in shape, I can blow that away. I used to sing that with my jazz band in college. Now see what she did? She got me singing. That's never a good thing. All right, so what do I wanna do in these? <laughs> Lunch and a show, somebody said. I love Patsy Cline. She could belt it out. Okay, so up here, I think I'm going to do these little hatch lines. My pen is pretty juicy, so it's gonna pre be fairly dark. And then I'm gonna do that over here. Well, I am sure Neha is going to be so excited that everybody did her pattern today. <laughs> I kind of think that's funny. Yeah, I'm going to do that on each one of these. Now, if you do this, make sure you are following the curve of the lines that are already there and not doing, doing it straight across, right? And this takes practice and it takes patience. So if you're not great at it in the beginning, understand that it takes practice and patience. It takes time and you just have to chill out and keep working at it. If you get a line that goes the wrong way, don't worry about it, keep going. You're probably gonna cover it up with other ones. I'm too sexy for my tangle, really. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> They're encouraging me to sing more. That's a, that's always a bad plan. So once I get started, I can't stop. I got, always got a song in my head running around. Now I got crazy for loving you. And I'm crazy for feeling so blue. And now all you guys in chat have to do is start listening songs. I'm there. I'm not, I'm, I don't have much Metallica though. <laughs> Stick with the ballads. I'm usually pretty good with those. So do you guys know that spiritual uh, called Amen? Uh, have I heard the mom song? I have not. What is the mom song? Fatima, hello, welcome. Uh, 
Um, the mom song. Who sings that? Doesn't sound familiar. Crazy for me. <laughs> And I'm crazy for feeling so good. Well, I guess I'm gonna do this. And if I'm going to do them both at this at, next to each other, I'm probably going to have to do them all this way, which is probably all right. Angela, you guys. This is why I'll never be a good salesman, because I always feel guilty when people spend their money. Thank you. It's so nice of you. Well, this is just a mess over here, so maybe I need to go back to singing and lifting my pen just slightly. Well, <laughs> what the well? That has to be my favorite Tangle name of all times. Well, I am off the reservation here. I am galloping off to another town. I guess I need to slow down. Slow down. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> you move too fast. Ba -da -da. You got a man. And last just kicking down the cobblestones. Do, 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 do. Feeling groovy. Feeling groovy. Duh. Hello, lamppost. What you knowin'? Got your flowers growing. Come on, Cindy, slow down. Feeling groovy. Ba da 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 da. Feeling groovy. So by curving these lines in whatever way we're curving them, Cindy, um, this is enhancing the rounded look of these uh, things, making them sort of look like little, um, what are those things called? Little flower bouquet things. They sort of look like cactus, cacti. You know how easy it would be to put little spines on here, right? <laughs> Said into two and a half minutes, sung to the William Tell Overture, the mom song. Oh, totally going to look for that. Yes, Carlito, how are you today, babe? Don't let Luke get, get um, jealous, though. Horns a plenty. Feeling groovy. Yep, I'm feeling groovy. Horns a plenty. Yes, exactly. That's what these are. Horns a plenty. Shading those parts will add a lot. Yes, it will. Okay, close enough. Now, um, I'm going to hold off on that. I have, I have hinted that there is another one over here that we can't see, and so I'm wondering if I need to put a little partial uh, edge here, but um, I don't know. Is Isabel here? Hi, Isabel. Hola. Como estas? Cool. 
question. If one struggles with sparkles, could she, just asking for a friend, <laughs> to draw uh, consistent lines and use, yes, absolutely. Uh, she's asking if, if you can draw these lines in without the sparkles and then use a jelly roll to sort of break them up. You absolutely can. Um, of course, you know, you always want to do things with your ink pen if possible, but um, this type of thing is hard. Uh, you can see it's difficult. And so, um, you know, if you want to just draw these through and use a jelly roll to uh, sort of sparkle them, no reason why not. I, I don't think anyway. For me, Zentangle is about adapting to, to uh, what works for you. And I think that's one of the things that I like best about Zentangle is that it allows you that freedom. Ah, good deal. This will work. And uh, Christiana, tell your friend that... Um, Uh, that um, it's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> sparkles, sparkles can be difficult. And if you don't slow down, Cindy. Yeah. So uh, Carlito is reminding me that I had two super chats from um, Angela and Nancy Pierce and uh, that I need to thank them for those. I think I did that, but thank you guys so much. You guys are extraordinarily generous, and I am humbled by your generosity. All right. So, yeah. So, what what uh, was being suggested... Where's my jelly roll? Oops, that's a gold one. That's not going to work. Here's my number 10. Which you can probably do this with an 8 is to just put a little, you know, white spot. On your lines. And uh, sort of uh, enhance that, um, you know, <laughs> do what you do what you do. All right, now. It is a beautiful tangle. Neha uh, nailed it. It will be a shame if it doesn't end up on tangle patterns. It will be a crying shame. All right, now let's. Um, so uh, I'm going to draw in Rixty up here. You could do. Uh, you could draw in some flux. You could draw in um, Hollis, I think. Um, uh, Neha has a, um, an example where she has drawn Hollis with some flukes in the, in the little uh, divides, which was a really cute idea. I loved my Rixty on the sample tile. I thought, I thought uh, this, was, this is really cool and, and kind of having a wild tangle on top of this more... Um, uh, cactusy bit down here I thought was fun. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. You, of course, can, you know, add your mukas or whatever you want. So if you've never done Rixty before, this is a great tangle. It's one that, uh, that Maria came up with for Rick Roberts' 60th birthday, hence the Rixty. And um, um, what you do is you start out with stems just like poke leaf or poke root or any of the rest. Then you put a straight line across the top. And do your little triangle thing on the side and ink. Right? And then you draw an aura around there. And now the fun begins. I'm going to put another small one right out here. Straight line. Put your little triangles in or triangle 
like entities. <laughs> there we go. And now this guy is so close to the edge that we're not going to have any room for him. So I'm going to finish him off. And what I do is I just add a little curly cue like that. It's easier for me when I do it this way. And you just bring that line up and curve it down, like, uh, you know, with the curly cue. Yeah. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, so this guy, he's going to grow and move and be his own little dude, right? So I'm going to divide this like this. And out of this same middle, like this, and triangle that up. Draw your aura. Take your time. All right. So this guy's going to get the little curly cues. That was kind of weak, but it'll work, okay? And this guy can divide again. Straight line, put your little triangles in, and ink and aura. All right. Who am I going to finish off with a hammer? Ooh, guess that's why they call it the blues, Elton John. Yeah, that's a good song. That's a good song. Now, just like Poke Root and Poke Leaf, these can go however you want. Make them your own little friend. And you might want to play with, uh, you know, some variations. Okay, so I think both of these are about as, as tall as I want them. So I'm going to finish these two off. You can just put one if you want. It's all entirely up to you. So I'll just leave that one the way it is. All right. So that's what I'm going to do here. I know. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Carlito, baby. You are, you are, are my, my, um, what do I call you? My goodwill ambassador. All right. Love these little guys. I kind of want to put one like this. Okay, let's get it done. River is sawing up a storm over there.
And you can tell just by um, pointing them in different directions and how you draw your line across the top is, gonna, is going to determine what direction they go and what they're going to look like. Let's finish this one off. So if you missed the Zoom meeting earlier, that we will have another one directly after the live stream. You'll just have to give me a second to go and start it um, and schedule it. And um, it will be at four o'clock. Okay, and the link will be put in the community tab right here on my channel page on YouTube. The, there is the home tab, then there's videos, then there's um, um, playlists, and then there's community, I think, on my channel page. The Tireless Tangler. Yeah, that one was trying to come out. It just didn't make it. Something about this has relaxed me so much. Rixty is a great pattern. I'm going to put another one sticking out right here. And I love Nephi. Nephi. Yep. There. Now I got two cute sides. Now I got to fill out the stuff in the middle. We got time, so I'm going to do that. Are there any questions from you guys in chat? Nope. They are talking about evil step twins. I don't know. Zentangle bingo. Where is their Zentangle bingo? <laughs> Carlito, where are you talking about, woman? I'm so confused. What time is it where I am right now? Oh, sorry, that doesn't help you guys when I say four o'clock. It's three o'clock now, so in an hour. I apologize. I I forget. <laughs> I'm in the central central time zone, the same as Chicago. Chicago and Dallas. And that is UTC time minus five. So we are five hours behind the, the um, universal time code. Carlito is the bingo caller. Call me. to focus. It's always a lot nicer when that happens. So I have really enjoyed our Zoom meetings. There haven't been many people in there, and that is fine with me. It gives us the chance to get to know each other one-on-one -on -one a little bit better. But uh, we certainly have room for, for many more. I think that was a mistake. I should have put some more on here. I can add this.
feeling groovy. Sorry, sometimes it just comes out. That's what's going on in my head right now, anyway. Dappled and drowsy and ready for sleep. And it's like I'm feeling groovy. I cannot wait to get my new turntable desk that um, Angela's friend Gina has been making. I know Nancy, uh, Nancy Pierce has gotten one and she loves it. So I am going to have to work out to get mine because that is pretty awesome. I don't think it's gonna move as much as this one and make all of those annoying noises like this. So we will see. And it's a lot cheaper. All right. This, and we'll have to do a pretend one that we can't see. All right. There. Okay, one more set. We should be looking good. How are you guys doing? Angela says she likes the Rick Steve with this. Nephi reminds me of an artichoke. Maybe only because I have seen them today. Yes, it does in a way, doesn't it, Mimi? Um, it reminds you of that. Um, they have the big sort of juicy sections, right? I totally know what you mean. Yes, if you'd like to join the the Zoom meeting, all you need to do is download on your phone or tablet or a computer the Zoom app. And uh, then when you come into the community tab, all you have to do is click the link and it will take you right there. Um, I think there is a passcode on it, so pay attention to the passcode, like cut and paste or whatever it is. It's not that long. I think it's six numbers or letters. Now, if you're on an iOS device, the community tab does not show up. It's still not, even though they said it did. It does not. 
So uh, what you guys uh, have got to do is go on Safari, pull up YouTube on Safari, force the desktop version of YouTube, and then you will see the community tab on my channel page. Uh, it's the same thing with the memberships. Uh, you only see that if you're, if you're on the desktop version, uh, if you're on an iOS device. If you're on an Android or whatever, then you're good to go. And my iPhone can find the community tab, but not the i not my iPad. So that's something weird. I don't know what that's about, but as a creator, it's pretty frustrating since I use an iOS device to create. My stomach says it's past lunch and you didn't eat. I had a V8 instead. <laughs> if I didn't have my hands busy, I'd knock my head right now. Let's do this first. Okay, this one can just have one. I'm, I'm okay with that. All right, let's do some shading, guys. This is gonna be so freaking awesome. Shaded, if you want to shade with a colored pencil, uh, that would be really effective. I'm going to use my graphite pencil. I love shading with graphite. Okay, so first most obvious spot to shade is down here on the edges, right? You want to put a light, a nice dark coat of either of whatever color you're using or graphite, which I suppose is technically a color too. Now, what what I'm going to do, and again, I am not a great shader. I know a little bit enough to get me in trouble. Uh, I am going to. Um, so you do what you want. I'm going to bring my shadow up further on one side and keep it really thin on the other. Because technically both of these sides are going to need some shadow. Um, even, even both of these, where normally I would leave one side blank. But since each one of these is rounded, And uh, make sure you get lots of nice color there in, in this middle part. So on one side, you're going to bring it up further. On the other side, it's going to stay thin down by the edge. Don't forget, guys, we now have a Facebook group. I know somebody said they, they joined Facebook just for me so they could be in the group. Thank you. I love you, too. Um, <laughs> I kind of feel that way about it, too. I, I, only, I only get on Facebook because of you guys because I love you. So I've, I, feel, I feel your pain on that. But it does make a nice uh, meeting place for us to share our art with each other and actually be able to comment and and have a little bit of bigger of a um, ability to interact with each other. So from that standpoint, I'm glad we're doing it. Um, on the other hand, it's just 
one more thing I gotta get into. But uh, quite honestly, I haven't been in there very much, and and uh, I trust Angela and Nancy to take care of that. And I'm sure I will hear from them if we if uh, somebody needs an intervention. But they are both admins, and so they they make the big decisions around there. I don't. So I'm going to put a little shading right here on the top or on the bottom of these elements just to sort of tie everything together. All right, now let's blend this, see where we're at. All right, if you guys are interested in the turntable, Angela says she has she has run out of, the lady making them has run out of supplies. And so she's going to be ordering more supplies and, and making more. But uh, so if you order one now, you'll have to wait a bit for her to get the supplies in. But I think this is going to be a great deal for, for Gina, the, the lady that is doing this. Uh, because I think the, the need out there for these is greater than people realize. And I think a lot of people have been frustrated at Danette's site because, you know, she acts like she sells them. And, and you, can, you can order one from her, but who knows, you know, uh, when you'll get them or whatever. So I just think it's great that we have an alternative to that just in case Danette is not able to continue. I know her husband has been ill, and he is the one that actually makes them for her. I will say, Angela, that um, um, Gina, when she, when she comes to a point where she feels like she's got the design the way she wants it, uh, to be ongoing, then she should go ahead and put a patent in on it um, immediately. I think it's different enough from what's out there that you won't have. You won't have to wait two years, she says. Uh, there's a new turntable also coming out that's like the one, like Cindy's, that will be cheaper. Oh, cool. All right. Let's see. All right, I'm just trying to uh, catch up on chat here. All right, now for uh, shading, see, I love the way this looks. Even with my nasty lines, right, you don't notice those. You look, you look at this and you go, ooh, pretty. So, yay. <laughs> All right, so for shading on uh, uh, Nephi, Nephi, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to put a shade right here along this center line on the, on the vertical leaf side. Wait, the horizontal leaf side. <laughs> yes, they're square diamonds. Dang it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And so along the upper edge of each one of these leaf lines, what we're going to do is enhance the, the feeling that this is overlapping this, okay? And that this one, again, is overlapping the next one. So that's why we want the graphite there. We're going to deepen that shadow and really enhance that overlapping, okay? And now here, again, Enhance that overlap. And I am going to add a little bit extra here and sort of round this out because I'm me and I can and I want to. I think that's gonna happen naturally because I put graphite along the edge. So I'm just doing it that way. That's me, that's my thing. You do as you will. If you wanna do it my way, that's cool. If you have your own way, that's cool too. Yeah, liking it. Let's shade it or let's blend it. 
And again, you don't want to pull your pencil up too far into this. You want a nice white highlight on the top edge or whatever color you're, or whatever paper you're using. Okay. Now, really carefully here, you've got a, I've got a lot of graphite going on. I'm going to blend this out a little bit, and then I'm going to come in here on the sides. And what I'm going to do is just sort of um, let this look rounded here and blend this up just slightly. And remember, you can get a clean tortillon and... and uh, blend out some of this stuff. If you've got too, uh, your, if your tortillon has too much graphite on it, you can clean it or you can get a clean tortillon. All right. Okay, so this is my first round of shading. You guys know I usually go back in and go over it all again because I'm any student no matter what. Okay, so how do we turn out here? So it's a lot of graphite, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I have loved the fact that, that our last few patterns have had all this shading uh, opportunities going on. I have another really special pattern for tomorrow that has not been published, but it has been turned into Linda. And it is by one of our followers uh, named uh, Shauna. She is Maori. And uh, this is a really, a really cool pattern for shading. It's, sort, it's an op art type of, type of a thing. That's cool. All right. August is an ugly time of year in this part of the country. Um, Angela, just so you know, <laughs> it will be over 100 degrees Fahrenheit when you're here, if you're coming in August. That is a hot, hot, hot time of year. It's cool that you can, that you're able to travel um, internationally now. Um, or do they require vaccinations before you can uh, board an airplane or what's the rule? Oh, y'all are going in June. Well, that's still gonna be hot, but hopefully not as hot as August. I can't wait to meet you, Angela, in person. That's going to be great. I'm so excited. And so if we have if we have a time for the meeting, depending on what happens, um, we'll have to see if, if anybody else in the area wants to come along. Hi, Marilyn. Cataract surgery. Oh, my gosh. Let us know how that goes. How long does it take to recover from that? I hear it's not too bad nowadays. How is it in New Zealand? How is the COVID situation in New Zealand? I know India is getting just crapped on right now by COVID. I think it's awful, poor babies. And there they are, the center of the vaccine um, center of the vaccine production and and we can't even get them the vaccines they need okay so on Rixty, there are a couple of things you can shade uh down at the base of course so 
So at the base of each one of these where they go inside or look like they do. And on the underneath side, so on top here and on the underneath side right here. Now you don't have to do all of this if you don't want to. I just find that every little bit makes a big difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mine, but you don't have to. It just enhances more and more of the 3D quality, and so why not? And Angela, as far as I could tell, there is no way to reuse the Zoom meeting uh, links from last time, so I have to make a new one, at least, at least with my account, whatever my account is. That may be something if you have like a pro account or something like that. I'm gonna have to sharpen my pencil. It's getting tired. Uh oh. Simba's getting up. I don't know if that means barking is coming or not. The other place you could possibly shade if you want to is this place where the stem goes across the the aura line, but that's really getting serious into the shading with this. And again, it just depends on how much work you want to do. I might have to try Rick D large sometime. I had a lot of fun with it today. Yes, I have a free account, that's correct. The Sydney Opera House Ice Cream Cone, I kinda like that, that analogy, that's pretty cool. All right. Good, take yourself off. Jeez, that's loud. <laughs> reunion planned at my house sweet I have a very small house you just tell people when to arrive that's kind of nice yeah I probably do need to get a paid account alright I'm going to go back to blending and try to pay attention to what I'm doing <laughs> Gonna have to find my mono zero. This is getting serious. I've done fairly well. <laughs> I'll come up with it. It's here. I just have no idea what I did with it. Which means it's time to clean out some stuff and reorganize. I have to reorganize on a regular basis or things get crazy here. Barbara, isn't Miami, Oklahoma, isn't that in the in the northeast corner of the state? Am I wrong? Read Debbie's comment. Yes, ma'am. I read it. Bye, Kimberly. 
I have a free one and always use just my link, which is assigned to me. I don't schedule, that's the difference. I just tell people when they arrive. So, so when you're in there, um, Christiane, yes, dear one, you're yelling at me. <laughs> Stop yelling at Cindy. It's mean. I'm just kidding. Yell at me all you want to, you guys. It's cool. It helps. Yelling, yelling at Cindy helps because sometimes Cindy's brain is parked elsewhere. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Nancy, I know, can already figure out where I went with that, and I don't worry about the rest. <laughs> yes, Christiana. She was helping you again. She just likes yelling at me, I think. Crazy girl. Hey, you know, Barbara, that's the perfect place. You definitely could meet up with us for tangling, couldn't you? I'll have to rent a car, my poor old junker. It is a sad state of affairs. But again, as I tell Mari, it's it's uh, it's paid for. We don't pay for it. All we gotta do is put gas and insurance in there, and so I'm not gonna complain. All right. Well, I forgot to shade my Rixty over here, but that's okay. I did some of it and not others. <laughs> I got distracted. Feeling groovy. You guys feeling groovy? Because I am. Ba -da 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 -da. Feeling groovy. The place where I get my nails is is always showing a channel called, is it ABL or something? It's Australia um, Broadcasting something, I think. Anyway, so, so when I get my nails done, they're always playing this channel out of Australia. And uh, it's always, um, you know, finding houses for people. And uh, it's, it's a fun channel. But I'm always like, ah, I want to go to Australia and live. They have the coolest stuff there. Uh, we're talking about Springfield. Yes, I know, Karen. <laughs> Thank you for saying mine is the best. Mimi did one today, and I guess Melinda Barlow also did one today, and it was completely accidental on my part. I had no idea that they were doing those today, and uh, yeah, it was just happenstance. It was kind of, whoops, I got a hair. It was kind of weird, but you know. Take it in, take it in stride. We don't, we don't talk to each other about what we're planning. So it's always, I'm always frustrated if I do something and it comes out the day after somebody else did it or something. So, but I thought I was safe with this one because it hasn't been published at all yet, but apparently it's been all over Facebook. So, so, uh, that's how it works. Okay. Just a couple more spots here. I missed with the shading. see crazy yep I'm singing all all over the place okay I got them all this one I think we're there. Hopefully in June or July. Okay, I will tell you those are the worst months for me <laughs> because heat and my body do not get along well, but I'm going to make the effort. Yeah, you found it on Instagram, Mimi? 
Well done. Good eye. Well, I can't wait to go watch Mimi's version of this and see what she did. And uh, Melinda's version and see what she did. Hopefully mine is different from theirs. We'll, f <laughs> we'll find out. All right, guys. This is what I got for you. Um, tie up with a Comic-Con for your son. Oh, man, my son would love to go to Comic-Con. All right. I want to join, too. Uh, you can. Can you not? Can you not have Zoom? Oh, I don't know about that, Mimi. Don't don't go there. It's not a comparison. Air conditioning. Nancy, are you kidding me? My middle name in the summer is air conditioning. All right. So I am just chilling and reading chat to see what's up. Okay, so um, until I figure out with Debbie how to do this, um, uh, Springfield Zoom. <laughs> um, until I figure out with uh, how to, to just post my um, link and then you guys show up, um, I will go ahead and schedule the meeting and uh, somebody will have to hold my hand and drag me through there and show me what to do. But um, let me go and schedule our Zoom meeting. Everybody is welcome. We can have up to 100 in there. So if you guys want to come and hang out and just chit chat with us, let me go schedule it. I will post it on my um, community tab where the rest of them are. And uh, if you have trouble finding that, on the community tab, let me leave my own video here, right here at the top of my channel page, right? You search for the Tireless Tangler. On top, there is this community tab. Whoops, what did I do? What did I do? Let me not look through the camera, okay? And so down here, this is where the, where the link is, right? And you have to know this passcode. So that's where you find it. I'm gonna go make a new one for now. And uh, I'll be I'll be on there waiting to see you guys here in just a minute, okay? If you have any questions, you can get on the Facebook group and ask uh, Angela or, or Nancy. And if they don't know, they know how to get in touch with me. And uh, I'm gonna see you guys in a few minutes, okay? So give me a couple of minutes to get the Zoom uh, link posted, and then we will be back, all right? So this is Nephi, and I love it. I just love it, okay? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you here in a few minutes, and uh, it's great to see everyone, and thanks for being here today. All right, I'll see you in a minute.